Hey guys, on this episode of Everyday We're Calculating, we are going to be talking about adding decimals. Let's get started. Here is a decimal place value chart. Right in the middle, in the light blue, we have a decimal point. The decimal point is going to split the decimals and the whole numbers. So to the left of the decimal, starting in the ones, it goes all the way to thousands and so on, and those are your whole numbers. To the right of the decimal, you have your tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, which are all part of a whole. This is very important when you're adding decimals or subtracting because you wanna make sure you put the digit in the correct place value. One strategy that I'm going to show you is adding decimals using base 10 blocks. This is going to represent the ones or a whole. Tenths represent dimes, if you're talking about money, and it is one tenth. Hundredths represent the penny, and it takes 100 of these to make a whole. Now, I don't want you to get confused because they may look similar but actually 100 of these hundredths would fit inside of the ones chart. Now for our first strategy, let's go ahead and add these decimals. Find the sum of two and three tenths plus 43 hundredths. So modeling with my base 10 blocks, here I am taking the number in blue, two and three tenths. So I am going to represent my two holes with my base 10 blocks and my three tenths. So because I have three in the tenths place, I have three tenths represented, and I have two holes in the ones place, and that is why I represented the two. Next, I want to add 43 hundredths. Well, I have a four in the tenths place, so I have four tenths. I have a three in the hundredths place, so I have three hundredths. Now I am going to add them together. I have two holes plus no holes, so that is two holes. Then I have three tenths plus four tenths, and it gave me seven tenths. And three hundredths plus no hundredths gives me three hundredths. So all together, I have two and seventy-three hundredths. So now let's do the standard algorithm of adding up decimals using place value. So when you're adding whole numbers, you always line up the digits and you always add starting in the ones place because that's the lowest place value. Well, when you're doing decimals, you're actually not going to line up your numbers anymore. You're going to line up the decimal. So you have to transition your mindset. So the first step is to write your decimals one on top of the other. So here I wrote two and three tenths first because that was the larger decimal. Either way, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. And then I wrote the smaller number on the bottom. Step two is line up the decimals. As you can see, I have the decimal and I have my two holes and my zero holes. And then I have my three tenths lined up with my four tenths and I have my three hundredths and I am missing a place in the hundredths place. So that brings me to step three. You are going to add a zero to the missing place value so that the number of digits maps. You add the zeros, you are now going to do step four, which is to add each place value. This time you're starting in the smallest place value, which is your hundredths. So zero hundredths plus three hundredths is three hundredths. Three tenths plus four tenths is seven tenths. And two holes plus zero holes is two holes. So the answer is two and 73 hundredths. Thank you guys for tuning in to Everyday We're Calculating. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Also, hit the bell so that you can receive all notifications. Thank you. See you next time.